So, let us see what Tala is. One essential aspect of the Tala which has uh, already been indicated by my talking of the Tala cycle is its cyclicity. It is a cycle of Tala. In a, in a, for instance, in a piece of Western music, Western classical music, it is the rhythm of the piece. It, you can conceive of it as a timeline being punctuated at regular intervals like 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And there is a sense of the piece, the music flowing, going forward. In the case of Carnatic music as well as Hindustani music, there is a sense of coming back to the first beat. The music is organized like this, music is created like that and we will see later on when we talk more in detail about Tala and also about uh, the improvisational aspects of music, how the, the act of coming back to the, to a particular beat, uh, if, you, if you say, if you have Adi Tala, it has eight beats, now the, I, the act of coming back to either the first or uh, the one and a half beat or whatever it is that the composition starts with. That uh, is, is of great significance in how the music is presented. So, the Tala is actually a cycle and when you uh, experience Carnatic music, you have the sense of coming back to the uh, to the first line or to the first beat. This, this feeling of coming back is a very, very um, vital aspect of the experience of music and, of, and also of performing music. We do come back to the first line of the composition, we do come back to the first beat of the, comp of the Tala cycle. So, that is, um, that is one very vital aspect of Tala, a very, very fundamental um, feature of the concept of Tala that it is a cycle of beats. Now, getting back to the concept of Laya. Now, Laya, the, the word, um, the word's origin is from lean, which means Shleyasharna that is clinging, adhering. Now, Laya here means the period of rest between two actions, between two actions. That is the Laya. And unless the period of rest is there, the action also does not make sense. However small that period of rest that is necessary for us to perceive an event or an action. In in uh, in a tala, these events are what we perform with our hand, the hand gestures. Those are the events, and laya is the period of rest between any two uh, movements of the hand. That is laya. So if you have one, two, three, four. 6, 7, 8. This is one layer. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is another layer. Or 1, 2, 3, and so on. So, this is how layer differs in compositions. Now, is there any standard? There is no, there are no standard, objective standards. Though uh, traditionally there is a reference to the time that uh, blinking five times takes, that is regarded as one unit of laya of tala. But there are no objective standards to say what is a fast laya or a slow laya. Traditionally, we speak of in, in, in 
the Indian musical traditions, we speak of broadly three layers, Vilamba or Vilambita, Madhya and Druta. Vilamba laya is a slow pace, leisurely. The composition we heard, Sanjay Subramaniam saying Maya Manini is generally rendered in a Vilamba piece, it's a Vilamba pace. It's a slow song. It's a composition that has to be rendered in a leisurely pace. And then we have Madhya Laya, which is a medium tempo, not too fast, not too slow. And then we have Druta Laya, which is fast. Now, what uh, is a Vilamba Laya? Do we have objective standards for it? No, we don't. We don't have anything like so many beats per minute, nothing like that. We can say safely that uh, Carnatic music is um, mostly about Madhya Laya, Madhya Makala. It is a medium tempo is what is most characteristic of Carnatic music. Not to say that <coughs> there is no place for Vilamba or Druta Laya, there is, but the predominant Laya is Madhya Laya. Madhyamalaya. And in contrast, we can say that Hindustani music, the most predominant laya there is the Vilambalaya, the slow, it's more leisurely. And again, it is not to say that there is no place for Madhya and Drutalaya, very much there. But the general feel that you get about the music, about the general experience of the music, is that it is a more leisurely kind of music. Whereas Carnatic music is more Madhyalaya, it is a medium tempo. The music is mostly in the medium tempo. Now, what, what does it mean to say that the music is uh, mostly medium tempo? We have compositions, of course, and um, these compositions are typically, each composition is typically associated with a particular tempo. Again, it is not hard and fast, it is not like so many beats per minute, but broadly this way or that way. It, when nobody would think of singing Maya Manini Prachite at a very fast pace, it would not work. That raga itself will not lend itself to a fast uh, treatment. We saw in our um, in an earlier session about types of ragas, Ghananaya, Vesya. So some ragas, Rakti ragas, some of the Rakti ragas are such that they are so heavily nuanced, they are so full of gamakas and other nuances that it is difficult to sing them at a fast pace. So some compositions and even some ragas themselves are associated with certain layas. Again, there are other ragas which cannot be sung at a very drawn out, in a very leisurely pace, Ghana ragas like Nata, Arabhi or even uh, lighter ragas, you can't give them a very leisurely treatment. So a composition like again Vatapi Ganapatim, it is typically associated with the Madhyamalaya, but it is not to say that you cannot sing it in another laya effectively. So the general laya is <coughs> <coughs> So I can sing it a little faster. This is a relatively faster way of faster tempo, faster laya. This is definitely Druta laya. Or we can even say 
वापि गणपति भजे हम वापि गणपति भजे हम वापि गणपति भजे हम वारण शंवर प्रदम शेवारण शंवर प्रदम सो वेरिएशन इन लाया इज पॉसिबल फॉर सम कॉम्पोजिशन इट्स पॉसिबल एंड इट रियली इज अप टू द परफॉर्मर some performers like to uh, speed things a bit some performers like to uh, sing in a more drawn out pace and but vata pigana pitam in as i said most carnatic compositions um have traditionally and generally been rendered at a madhyam akara at a medium tempo and that is where the music is at its tightest that is the that is the wisdom that we have gained from our uh, teachers and elders and peers that that is where this music is most impactful at a medium pace so let us listen to this uh, rendition of uh, another composition by tyagaraja tarama intiki in raga saviri adi taalam the sanjay subramanyam this is in a typical madhyamalaya a medium pace medium tempo rarama inti taaka raghuvira sukumara mrukkeda the taala is adi tarama inti taaka rama rama in राम राम इंटे दघुवीर सुकुम रो के दाम इंटे दघुवीर सुकुम Let us listen to Sanjay Subramanian singing this composition. Rama inti tak, Rama inti tak, Rama Rama inti tak, Rama Rama. Kule dhanu 
Oh, 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 oh. 